face right now. You hear Shannon Rose introducing chaos. This is a special hardcore challenge by the guy that seems to always be holding the hardcore title. This is chaos. And right now you're hearing he's challenging anybody in the back to come out. 24-7 rule is in effect. No, we're not talking about Quickie Mart. We're talking about anytime anybody can touch the guy anywhere in the building, they can become the hardcore champion. And then you see the first guy to accept the challenge. It may not be William Conrad, but that is Cannon. That isn't the debuting Beretta. That isn't the debuting Kojak. That's the debuting Cannon, who promptly has a dagger stuck into his forehead and starts to have the flesh torn from his head, chaos style. I tell you what, Ned Flanders there, Jim Bragg, a little bit shocked. He's more of a wrestling referee, not necessarily a hardcore referee, but you get the job you're told to do here at IPW. And what do you know about this Cannon kid? All I know is he comes out of nowhere to make his debut and immediately start getting sliced open by chaos. Now, who in the hell comes out of the dressing room when the clown in the ring is challenging everybody to a match, and as he's challenging them, he's holding on to about an eight-inch gigantic blade that he's ready to scalp the next guy that gets in the ring with him? Who charges the ring. I'm going to tell you who Cannon does. Yes, he does, and that shows you just how bad wrestlers want to become a part of IPW, that they would put themselves through this just to get a shot, just to get out in the ring, just to get on TV with IPW. And you may not want to give this guy, Cannon, a lot of credit for brains, as he just said, but you got to give him a lot of credit for having guts, and guts is what we're all about in IPW. The chaotic cult led by chaos is the epitome of hardcore. It doesn't matter if it's chaos, Axis, or David Young. You see Cannon take him over with a nice hip toss, oh. followed by a wicked leg drop. I think he crushed his head with half of his back there, but that isn't enough to take out chaos, who hits him with a nice inverted DDT. That's it for Cannon, I guarantee one, it. two, three. You are absolutely right, Ron. Opponent number one down. Let's see who they're gonna bring out for him next. And Ned Flanders says, Hardly who, Chaos, you just won. How do you clear out the carnage of somebody like Cannon and come in the ring with a barbed wire baseball bat? You have Snow, the former IPW television champion, who promptly tears into the back of Chaos with that vicious weapon. There you see Shannon Rose trying to help out Snow a little bit, was holding Chaos's leg. Not very smart, and I hate to even give Shannon Rose credit for guts. I think he just got caught in the ring accidentally. But here you see Snow, he's held that TV title. He wants to show he could put the hardcore in IPW hardcore, as well as a guy like Chaos. These guys have had some run-ins lately, and Snow comes prepared with the barbed wire bat, knowing Chaos has just wrestled one guy, and he may be in for his second shot of gold. Now on February 23rd, Right here at the Florida WrestlePlex, you're gonna see hardcore action just like this. You're gonna see some of the best competitors in the world. Justice Payne from Combat Zone Wrestling coming to the WrestlePlex. Is Chaos gonna challenge for that world title? Is it gonna be Billy Fives? Who's gonna get in there with Justice Payne? Either one of these two animals could get in there and it might be one of the most violent matches in history. I tell you what, Snow came in and immediately opened up Chaos. He's bleeding like a stuck pig out there. And now Chaos is just returning the favor there to Snow. I would not want to be Jim Bragg. Heck, I wouldn't even want to be the hardcore princess at ringside having to watch this carnage up close. You go to IPW-Hardcore.com and you can find hundreds, hundreds of oh, pictures. Another just inverted like Chaos, DDT, DDT here. Him. He regular DDT his head into that the matter. mat is what he did. Aaron. And there he takes out another huge man in Snow. But he's standing up, ready to go for more. He said he'd lay down the gauntlet and he's waiting for more challenges. 20 minutes into this match. Maybe it's edited at home where you can't see all this sickness. There's only so much we can show. But now you see Frankie Capone and Python. They hit the ring to attack Chaos. Sure, the belt is up 24-7, but not even Chaos can overcome the double lethal combination of Frankie Capone and Python. This has got to be the end. We're going to be seeing a new hardcore champion real soon. I can feel it, Aaron. All right, Ron, I, I missed a little bit about what you were saying there, watching the lovely coral at ringside, as I seem to do sometimes. But I'm sure you were talking about just how brutal that Frankie Capone has become since he started here in IPW. He was a little cruiserweight guy. Now he's in there fighting the likes of Chaos. And here comes the, even the odds. Axis, big double clothesline as he dies over the top rope. And he's like, I'm here to get you, my partner in blood chaos. It's time for the chaotic cult to take some names. Axis isn't going to sit back. Oh, my God, he's got to have the stiffest kick to the face that we've ever had at the Florida WrestlePlex. He almost murdered Snow with it a few weeks back, and now he almost decapitates Python with it. And look at the knockers on. Who is that? I don't know, but she's nearly as big as Axis, and she accompanied him to ringside. We didn't get to catch it on the camera. But did you all just see the athleticism of Axis a couple of minutes ago as he leapt with both feet directly from the floor up under the ring apron just to come to the ring and throw Frankie Capone around like that? 
that. That's how the hardcore giant Ron Nimi enters the ring, but that's beside the point. What? You, you got Coral with one of the most beautiful sets in professional wrestling, and she is a goddess in her own right. But who is this late? Who is this girl that's at ringside? She seems to have her sights set on Axis. She's not booked on the card. She's not part of the roster, but she seems to look. Look at her looking at Axis. What is who is this? Do you have any insight? I don't know about her. I'm not sure. It looks like he might have met her at the gym from the looks of her arms there. And I tell you what, if I'm Coral, I'm a little bit worried about having the hardcore princess and this new femme fatale of IPW out at ringside. And she's smartly staying away as Python takes it to Chaos and chops him right in the corner. Now, Chaos has been through two wrestlers already, and he's getting chewed up. He's going through the meat grinder that they call Frankie Capone and Python. And you got that beautifully, beautifully hot goddess at ringside, Coral oh, standing Nearly a show. three count there, Ron. But don't ever cut me off when I'm talking about Coral and how hot she is. Please. I don't ever cut you off, Ron Nimi. Everybody knows that. But right now, Frankie Capone comes in with a stiff kick right to the underarm of Chaos. And these two guys were smart. They came in two on one. They knew Chaos was already weak. And they're going to do what they can to try to have one of them get this hardcore title. Or, Ron, maybe impress the bookers that be and get themselves a tag team title shot at Quickie Mart. Now, what the hell is going on here with Axis? His partner's getting destroyed in there. Do you think maybe this new chick that's at ringside that's ogling Axis, that's over there trying to seduce him with probably these 38 double D cannons? Do you think maybe she's working for Frankie Capone Python? Do you think maybe that she's some mystery lover of Coral and that they're making out and they're kissing with their tongues and feeling All right, each Ron. Sorry to interrupt you there. Actually, you know I never am. But the only thing I have to say about that tirade is she hasn't seen 38 double D since a couple operations ago. Absolutely. And Ron Nimi, as always, adding insightful commentary to mine. And there you see the two biggest men probably competing right now outside of the Shane Brothers and IPW and Python taking it to Axis right now. Both of these guys only been in the sport a short amount of time, but they're in there with a couple of veterans in their corner, so you can't underestimate either one of them. February 23rd at the WrestlePlex, you're going to see Axis, you're going to see Chaos. I have no idea if you're going to see this mystery woman at ringside, but I can guarantee the Hardcore Princess is going to be there. There seems to be some type of animosity that the Chaotic Cult hasn't been talking about. There seems to be something brewing underneath. There seems to be a hell of a lot more to this story, and Python and Frankie Capone look to be in the right place at the right time. They just got to stay at the top of their game and stay on Axis oh. while he's down. Whoa, wicked chair shot. Yeah, but Frankie right before Capone. the chair shot, Axis caught a low blow from Frankie Capone, and that'll put that even the biggest of men. And Frankie's taking out Chaos with that chair as Python gets the three count on Axis. Three chair shots from Frankie Capone to the cranium of Chaos. He levels Chaos, and unfortunately for Axis, hey, and here comes Rick Thames out of nowhere. We haven't seen him here in a while. Former one half of the Southern Posse, former IPW hardcore champion in his own right. And quite frankly, him and Chaos like each other just fine. They just like to fight each other even better. Gentlemen, Rick Thames doesn't... What the hell's going on here? Forget about Rick Thames returning to IPW. No matter how big a news it is, I'm sure Chaos are going to rip each other from limb to limb. But what do we have here? Do we have the makings of a cat fight? And look at the look on the hardcore princess's face. And I tell you what, Ron. I... Meow. Sorry, I missed your cue there, Ron. Fans, I don't know what's going on between Chaos and Axis or between their two women right here in IPW. You see Shannon Rose ogling them out at ringside. Hardcore Princess still can't believe what's going on. Fans, we have lots more action here to come in our six-month anniversary show in just a moment.